know about Danny Arcata? Well, just what you know. He's a graduate of Murder Incorporated. He runs half the vicious rackets in this town, and he's never seen the inside of a jail. Now, I'm talking about his personal life. Ever hear any rumblings about uh, Arcato being a family man? No. He has no family. That's what everybody thinks. What if I told you he had a wife and son stashed away? Well, that might be interesting. But, Lieutenant, why would he want to keep them hidden? Maybe Mrs. Arcato doesn't know about her husband. We've never been able to pin anything on him. He hasn't had any publicity. Maybe he doesn't want to have anybody asking a question. She might start putting two and two together. I was just thinking, if we put her on the right track, who knows? Things might suddenly add up. It'd put him in a vulnerable position. Lieutenant, uh, that's merely a lot of guesswork. His kid isn't guesswork. I saw him. And one of his torpedoes took him home to his mother. So our kid has got a wife. It's a long shot. He didn't want me to know it was his kid. Now we've always figured Danny Arcato is a gay boy about town. No strings. And we've never been able to pin a girlfriend on him that we could question. He's outsmarted us. We've been on the wrong track. He's got a wife and he's too smart to lead us to her. Yeah, but how come we don't have a record of his marriage? I got a hunch about that. I think he was married out of the country. Communications. And we're going to play Cupid. Oh, Kellogg. I want a cable police headquarters in uh, Mexico City, London, and Paris. Hello? Chris, just got a teletype from Mexico City. It's about Loverboy. I thought you'd want to hear about it right away. Read it. Daniel Arcado, married Cuernavaca. Civil ceremony, July 14, 1943. Bride, Helen Whitfield. American citizen. Address 110 Elm Street, Plainville, New York. Regards, Chief of Police, Mexico City. Oh, good. I'll meet you in 20 minutes. Plainville, huh? Well, Chris, this is the place. Don't be disappointed if they never heard of it here. Remember, it's almost been 10 years. Listen, now it's brought up in a small town. People don't move every 10 minutes like they do in the big cities. You're born in a house, you could live there all your life. I'll move to the big city. <laughs> yes? I'm sorry to disturb you, but I was hoping you could help us. We're looking for a girl called Helen Whitfield. What is it you want place. to know about Helen? Well, I know she lived here a long time ago, but did you know her personally? She's my daughter. She's dead. I never want to hear her name again. You mean because she married Danny Arcado? He's a murderer. My baby. Married to a murderer. Then your daughter does know about him. Yes. That's probably why he doesn't want anybody near her. Do you have any idea of where your daughter's living now? In New York. How do you know? She writes to me. She keeps writing me, but I've never opened any of her letters. Not as long as she's living with him. Do you have these letters here? Yes. Could I see one of them? They're not to be opened. I won't open it, I promise. I just want to look at the envelope. Thanks. The Backman Arms. When did you last receive a letter from her? Yesterday. She keeps writing to me, but I never answer her. She has to be punished. Maybe. Mrs. Whitfield, it's none of my business, but it seems to me you've been punishing her for a long time. Yourself, too. Don't you think these letters might be worthwhile reading? Goodbye, Mrs. Whitfield. Goodbye. Like I told you before, Lieutenant, she isn't in. I mean, I tried to deliver a package this morning. Well, this is her room. Open it. 
<laughs> well, now, if she gets mad, it's your responsibility. Don't worry about it. Just open it. Okay. Yes, Miss Whitfield? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, she ain't gonna be mad at anybody anymore. Chris, your hunch was lethal. Yeah. Either there was a leak about the teletypes we sent, or Arcado got scared when I learned about his wife and kid. Either way, she won't be much help to us now. It's not like Arcado leaving a trail like this behind. He really must have had his back against the wall. Who was in this apartment this morning? Say, Chris, I just checked in the other room. The kid's gone. There's nothing in there except a couple of old toys. Yeah. You know, it's too bad. She doesn't look like his type at all. She looks real nice. I'll bet that's real blonde hair. Yeah. Somebody told me I was going to bring misfortune to a blonde. Say, Chris, we just matched these prints. They're Arcados, all right. You'll die when you hear where we found them. I die easy. Where? On the kids' toys in the other room. Funny, huh? Yeah, it's a million lives. How long did Mrs. Arcado live here? Oh, uh, suicide? No, sir. Then who was here this morning? I don't know. I mean, I don't know the guy's name. He was a... Uh, he was a guy, a friend of Arcado's. He used to come in here every once in a while with him. And what did he look like? Can I go now? Relax. That's the hood I saw him with at the carnival. Did you recognize him? Well, he called him Johnny. Must have been imported. We'll send out a general description. Okay. This man, uh, he took the kid with him, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's like I told you before. I, I thought it was all right. He came up here every now and then. He was a friend of Arcado's. Yeah, and you thought he was an old friend of the family. I know. Well, don't take any trips. I may want you. Yes, sir. All right, tell me. Chief's been trying to get in touch with you, Chris. Yeah, I know. Everything stopped in this Arcado business. I just left him. The governor called while I was there. Very impressive. Say, the boys are eager, aren't they? Well, uh, you can't blame them. This is the first time Arcado's ever slept. Hey, what's this, somebody's birthday? I don't know. It was on your desk when I came in. Say, Chris, how is it they say in the movies? This case will crack the town wide open. You know something to me, boy? It will. Hey, must be for Spike. Yeah, that's cute. Gee, little tiger. Chris, I'm getting hungry. It's almost noon. Hey, you know, that's a good idea. With all this pressure, I almost forgot about food. Say, he is cute. Tommy. Yeah? I'll try that. What? You fell a basin of water. What's the matter with you? I'll get Peterson. Stand back. Right away. Don't slam the door. Okay. This was rigged by an expert. That's a little. See, the wires were connected to the detonator. It's supposed to go off at 12 o'clock. The movement of the hands made contact with the wires. Yeah. Look, there's enough nitro in there to blow up a house. Chris, I owe you an apology. How'd you know about this? A tiger. What? Nothing. Tell me, do you happen to know when the next full moon is due? Well, no, I don't. Why? I just wonder. Huh? Well, see if you can dig up any identification on this. Yeah. Hey, Chris, uh, when we get through with this, shall I take home Spike? No, I almost did. Have them check it good. Okay. I may not be back for a couple of days. You want company, Chris? No, thanks. Chris, you're a wheel in the big department. Don't try to take him alone. Are you through? No. Getting our kiddo is just a job. If you start taking it personally, you'll wind up dead. When somebody sends me a bomb, I wouldn't think of taking it personally. See you around. 